wish you wasn't part of my latitude. Fly to New York, fly to Cali Dub. Big Airbnb in the Malibu. You don't trust me like I'm not a boat. It's not my fault, I'm not accountable. Yeah. White boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Atez Moon. I'm the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. In this video right here, I want to speak about motherfucking soul ties and how to break a soul tie in some way, shape, or form. Because, you know, a lot of us get caught in a goddamn soul tie. So when your spirit been flying around another spirit and y'all been sharing space, whether mentally, emotionally, and physically, right? And y'all have a lot of creations between each other, right? Now, it plays out negatively when things is left unfinished. When business is left unfinished, and this could go through a multitudes of lifetimes and things of that nature, to the point that in this lifetime, you are just experiencing one representation of the energy that both parties or more been experiencing the whole motherfucking time. So keep that in mind also. Man, motherfucker. I must got a motherfucker pipe loose or some shit like that. I have to take this shit to the motherfucker uh, car line. But yeah, like I said though, getting into that motherfucking energy of breaking the motherfucking soul tie, this puts you into a situation where if there's a lot of accumulated energy between both parties or more, right? And it has been left untaken care of, aka like a dirty house or a whole bunch of suitcases within the motherfucking relationship in some way, shape, or form, right? Then this puts us into a situation where now this is a soul tie because both souls are tied up and obligated with something that haven't been taken care of in some way, shape, or form. So keep that in mind. See, hold on. Why my shit quiet now? And hey, this shit motherfucking weird. You know what I'm saying? I gotta tell you, my shit's a goddamn shot. I had to help hop on any goddamn road. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Going into the uh, or take another vehicle. Why oh, does keep trying to fall? <laughs> Stay open your ass up there, bitch. What? You know, like I said, when there's a lot of unfinished business stuck in between, it can leave both individuals guilty when they're on their own in some way, shape, or form because of how the circumstance played out or how the outcome, um, basically the outcome, how the circumstance played out. So, like I said, when you got a soul tie, you either have to rectify the circumstance or situation and uh, turn the other cheek. Therefore, both parties will be switched over. You know what I'm saying? Both parties could be open to go into their new circumstances and situations without no baggage in some way, shape, or form. Or on the motherfucking other end, it's just going to be a whole bunch of non-manifesting. It's going to be a whole bunch of blockages and shit like that. It's just going to be a whole bunch of uh, shit that you can't break free because every new every new situation or circumstance you go into, you're carrying old baggage, old thought forms that built into insecurities and stuff like that because you don't want to experience what you have experienced previously, right? And it doesn't even, that's like being in a relationship and the, rel the relationship ending on bad terms. When a relationship ends on bad terms, there's never a... Uh, uh, a rest of energy well, Not a rest of energy But there's never a, a coming to a um, Closure There's never a coming to closure And without no closure That means a door is still open And when doors are still open To messy ass rooms That both motherfucking spirits Have brought their baggage in In some way shape or form Then it allows everybody else To look at that dirt and baggage But it also allows other people To look at it like they're guilty Because they're not cleaning things up And whatever filth that they wasn't cleaning their mannerisms up previously, they take that into the future, right? So whatever room that they share with any other spirit, always gonna end up a messy room in some way, shape, or form. So you always have to rectify the situation. Either take care of the circumstance and agree to disagree, you know what I'm saying? And separate and sever energies from each other, or you're here for another purpose in some way, shape, or form. But you need to take care of that so you can know when it's time to separate or when it's time to come together in some way, shape, or form. Or manifestations will be faulty. Now, here's the thing. It takes two. It takes two, right? So, this puts us in a situation where, let's say you in a soul tie, right? But you no longer want to participate, right? And the other party don't even understand it in that way and don't even look at it that way and create a whole bunch of concepts in their mind how something is different or whatever like that then here's the thing then that's when it's all on them because you have unloosed your knot 
of the of the soul tie. So if another person continue to try to re-loop your knot, aka attach to your energy or re-loop the knot in some type of way, and you're not even participating in the stream, then for the most part, this is a person who's dangling spiritually. So what do we mean by dangling spiritually? That means that if you don't participate, they're gonna find someone else to do it with. So you can, whoa, all this motherfucking glass. So for the most part, your energy won't be stifled. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, any unfinished business, you didn't put you didn't put it to the universe that, okay, I came and cleaned up all my shit out of this house. Now, if this other individual or group of individuals that you are in a soul tie with refuse to clean up their portion of the house that we have all left abandoned and vacant, then that's on them. But the shit that they bought me in that house or the shit that I no longer want and I left in the house and I told them I don't want it, you could throw it away, right? Those, those, you let, that mean you let go esoterically. You know what I'm saying? That mean you let go esoterically. So once you let go esoterically, it's, it's on the motherfucker other individuals to still be sitting around worrying about if you're going to pay for the, es pay your half for the esoteric rent. It, that's all, that's all on them. That's their problem. You didn't been left and moved and told them you didn't even want the shit that's still in there. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't throwing it away. AKA detach it from your energy. And also they still worrying about is you going to have your half of the rent. So they about to be sitting there in La La Land frustrated and things of that nature, figuring out what to do next, just because, for, because you unloose your part of the uh, of the tie. So keep that in mind also. And I love y'all, so I gotta keep my eyes on the road. Flight boss, bitch. <laughs>